Right, in this video we are going to try and show how to repair, replace this sunglass holder. So, on the Discovery Sport. Now this may well be the same on other models. So, Land Rover do supply, I've managed to get hold of a few of these, they do supply these parts. And they come like so. So, they're different colours, but that's the sunglass holder. So, let's have a look what we've got here. We've got a spring, and there's a sort of pivot there. And we've got a pivot point on the other end and a sort of ratchety cog bit. And you've got your nice soft lined thing. So they do that in different colours. And it also comes with... Oh look, they even do the bit of soft on the top. So when you've got it open, it all looks soft. Look at that. Uh, so we're going to remove this. So this is held in place by these little springs, the little sort of barbed fittings here. So they just seem to squidge in. So I think the first step of the disassembly process is to turn it over. You could put a cloth down if you're a professional. Right, and then I think if we just squeeze this a little bit, there you go, we've got those two. Ah, it's, it's, it's caught on these metal clips at the side. So it's actually, ah, there we go. So I push that metal clip out the way then. And that one, it lifts up. Yeah, so you've got to push push that metal one over sideways. And push that backwards. Oh, let me get it past that one. There we go. Okay, so you've got to get these out. But those other metal clips get in the way. Right, so that's, that's that. That's easy enough. Um, interestingly, they sort of seem to have changed the design. Yeah. That one seems to have some, some holes in it. What do you reckon the holes are for, Kate? Oh, I don't know. I can't really say ventilation. No, there you go. Extra design feature. Who knows? Right. Um, right, and then we've got this. Now, it did say there was a screw in here we needed to remove. It said remove screw. And it, the instructions seem to show it going in from the side. We'll have a look at the instructions again. Right, so on the instructions it says remove this screw if equipped. So you've sort of got to orientate your... Oh, there you go. It's glaring off our, off our overhead lights, look, but there it is, this screw here. Um, so, it would be here, in this location here, if, and it did say if equipped, but ours isn't equipped with it, it's where that pivot point is. But on some, it looks like there's a screw there, right? So, we'll, like, we don't need that. All right, let's have a look what the next step is. Right, it seems that it's a bit unclear, but it seems to think that little pivot pin, we've got to sort of push that in. So, I guess we can't push the pivot pin in there but we can sort of push the sunglass holder one way and and the, there you go that, and which way is it going to go down? down yeah that's gone down and we've got a spring still on there Kate. yes yeah we've got a spring and i guess the other side's then going to fall out so that is that's that disassembled now be careful this is the thing that i think causes a lot of trouble is this little wheel here i think it can get damaged and you can see how it's just held in there. So I'm going to demount that by squeezing those two in. Sorry, I'm trying to... Right, I think you you probably got a gist of what I was doing, although my fingers are in the way. There you go. So I just squeeze those two little barbs together. You could do pliers, whatever, and squeeze those and extract that. So now we've got it all. Now, right, let's just dash back over to our... That's Zach, that is. Right then. What's he doing with a spade in the workshop, anyway? Right, we did get one of these out, didn't we? So yes. yes. So you can get these clips new, which is really good, Alandra. We like we like we, it when they sell the little bits, don't we, Kate? We do like it. Because that's all right to repair, and and it's good for the environment. If you can, if that's all you need to fix your sunglass holder, we'll sell those. And if that's all that's broken, look, pence and you're away. Ooh. So. I'm, when we sell these, we're going to put one of those with it anyway, because you might as well, if you're redoing it all, put that back in. Right, we'll take a breath, and then we'll have a go at putting it all back together. Right, one thing that we haven't seen available is this little cog on this side, look. So that just seems to have a little friction. Um, it looks like it's glued in there, there's a bit of hot melt there. So, unfortunately, <coughs> that bit isn't. Um, and we were looking at whether we could retrofit these sunglass holders to the Defender. So if we can't source that bit, it might not be a retrofit we can do. But right, let's rebuild it as we've got it. So we've got the new white 
bit and that's going to go in that hole there I believe it's either that hole or that hole but I'm pretty sure it's that one because the other one was the pivot hole yet yeah. right. Yeah, okay, there you go. And here, now they do say in instructions you can get some white grease and put it around there. Hey, look at it. All right, now let's take our new one. And what we're going to do is, we'll, if we put the spring end on first, we'll know the spring end is jammed in there. So let's have a look which way is it going to go. That's going to be the right way, and it come down there. Yeah. So if we put the little, I'm, I'm going to put it in a sort of open position. So I've got the, the spring in there, and I've just got to get it past that cog on this side and then I've got to push these two apart spread them until I can get that oh that takes some spreading there you go well that's got that in there now so that is that now oh so that little that just seems to give a little but there we go is that now working it seems to work doesn't it yeah pretty good yeah. job so that is how you replace the sunglass holder um, and that little white cog there. So if you've got some problems with your sunglass holder, we'll put the cogs for sale and we'll put the, um, let me just show you the other colors they've got. How many colors is there, Kate? Is that? I think there's only two, the black or the um, like creamy. Creamy ivory tanny one. Yeah. So what, what's this one here then? I've got four boxes here, Kate, or have I just got, Oh, no, oh, there's a, a grey. There's a greyy one. We bought them all, didn't we? We did. Oh, look, there's a, a sort of more ivory beigey one. But we'll get all these on the website. It's and like then, Christmas Day. It is. Oh, is that? It's different, isn't it? It's like one stone one's... and one's grey. Yeah. Oh, good luck. It's like working out the difference on that. Um, I wonder if there's any part numbers on here, Kate, on whether that would give us away as to what colour it is. But there we go. So you'll have to have a look which colour it is. Kate will put all the pictures up online um, with them all next to each other. There we go. Sunglass holder on your... It's probably the same on the Evoke and other stuff as well. We'll have a check. Sunglass holder rebuilt. Done.